Well, Hassan Akkad left Syria to seek asylum in the UK, travelling by small boat and truck. He filmed his story and turned it into a BAFTA-winning film. He is now a British citizen and is with me in the studio. Um, the Home Secretary said people are being sold a lie by people smugglers, that you can pay some money, have a new life in Britain. Is that why they're coming? Uh, not only she said that, but also Priti Patel before her, before her said that people are coming here for a nice stay in a hotel. Uh, it seems like the whole government doesn't understand why people leave their countries in the first place. It's very simple. If your country is having a crisis, whether it's a conflict or flooding or a famine, you leave. You cross borders, which is perfectly legal according to human rights, according to international law, and you claim asylum. And this is why people are coming. People are fleeing from countries like Syria, from Afghanistan, from Iran. But also from Albania. So are those 11,000 <coughs> Albanian young men who are estimated to have crossed this year actually putting the futures of genuine asylum seekers at risk? I think it's not up to me or it's not up to you or it's not up to anybody who to decide who meets the threshold of humanitarian protection or not. I think it's because we are one of the founding signatories of the Geneva Convention. Anyone has the right to cross a border and claim asylum. Now, when people come here, is everyone who's coming here a genuine asylum seeker? No. But it's, it's up to the courts to decide if they are genuine asylum seekers. And if they're not, then they're granted refugee status. According to the Home Office own stats, 77% of people who are crossing the channel are getting refugee status, are genuine asylum seekers. But they're having to risk their lives crossing the channels to come here. The government says it will stop the trade effectively, or cut it, yeah. um, by saying, if you arrive on a small boat, you will go to a third country, Rwanda or yeah. somewhere else. I mean, will that put people off? Will it stop the trade? It will never stop. Nothing, nothing will stop people from crossing the, channel, the, 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 the borders. They should, the, the, the Home Affairs Select Committee did a study two years ago and they discovered that any policy which is only focused on putting hurdles in people's way will push people to take more dangerous routes. Offshoring our, our moral responsibility to countries like Rwanda is not going to cut it. So what is the answer when illegal immigration numbers seem to be so high in, in, in the view of... The, you know, the majority of public opinion. The, uh, so, so uh, currently, there are over 100 million displaced and uh, displaced people around the world. Um, um, Britain is home to less than one percent of them. The answer is that we do our we 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 take our fair share of people who are fleeing their homes. Do we have any regular and safe routes for these for those people to come? No. What we have is a broken asylum system. A system that uh, we are the only country where our Im uh, immigrant um, immigration centers are not fit for huma human habitation. Um, we are the only country in Europe where we are detaining migrants in detention centers without a cap on how long we can detain them. Um, um, uh, we are the only country in Europe where um, people are um, um, not allowed, sorry, we're not the only country, but people, asylum seekers are not allowed to work. They're staying in hotels and they are causing a backlog in the system where you wait for years and years yeah. and years and you wait in limbo until you hear something from the Home Office. But, but putting people in hotels is particularly unpopular. With yes, very people, unpopular. It? It's very costly. It's very costly. And it seems wrong. Yes, very wrong. Then what's the solution? We take them out of the hotels and we allow them to work. Our, our economy needs people, we, we are looking for, for uh, every industry is looking for workers. So why not allow asylum seekers to get a job? Because so, the argument goes because then millions would come. Well, exactly, because everything is designed to deter people from coming here. An asylum system should be designed to protect people and give them safety and protection. Our asylum system is vilifying people and putting hurdles and actually causing deaths in the channel. Hassan Akka, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. For coming. Well, joining me now is the former Foreign Secretary David Miliband.